Objectively speaking, cars are simultaneously the best and the worst invention in the history of transportation. They are relatively affordable and offers their owners the absolute freedom of going anywhere they want. But other than these two upsides, cars are just about some of the worst modes of transportation available. Cars and roads takes up enormous amount of land, is extremely polluting and dangerous, and there's no need for the future of our personal transportation to be dependent on them. With the recent innovation in electric motors and batteries, electric scooters and bikes will allow people the freedom of movement without destroying our cities and our environment. So the question becomes, electric scooters versus electric bikes. Which one is the better mode of transportation for you? Both electric scooters and bikes have a wide range of price tags, but generally speaking, electric scooters are more affordable. Some electric scooter manufacturers offer models that are as low as $500, while the most affordable e-bikes starts at around $1,000. E-bikes' higher barrier of entry might be a major turnoff to the more budget-oriented people, but there is a reason for the higher price tag. Just like cars, you certainly get what you pay for when it comes to e-bikes and e-scooters. For those living far away from their workplace, the ultimate criteria when it comes down to deciding between e-bikes and e-scooters might come down to their range. Higher-end electric scooters, such as the Nami Burn E, can go as far as 90 miles on a single full charge. But more realistically, most scooters only has a range of around 30 kilometers to 50 kilometers. Electric bikes, on the other hand, offers a much greater range than the scooters. The main reason being that the frame of a bike can easily be retrofitted into a battery pack. Most e-bikes have a range of 50 km to 120 km. And even when running out of battery, you can still ride an electric bike like a regular bike. Most electric bikes are electric pedal assist bikes, meaning that the electric motor is not the only thing that's pushing the bike forward. You are also helping by pedaling. Other than the great range, there are also other reasons to choose an e-bike over an e-scooter. For those who use their cars for transporting goods, such as groceries, a personal vehicle needs the space and the carrying capacity that is able to accommodate their needs. In all honesty, you cannot carry a lot of things on an e-scooter. You are limited to your backpack and maybe a front basket. For some, this is more than enough, but for others, e-scooters simply do not have the space to fit everything they need. And it's not just a problem of space either. Most e-scooters can only go up to 120 kilograms of carrying capacity, and since the average person weighs about 80 kilograms in North America, e-scooters don't leave a lot of room for riders to carry extra cargo. On the other hand, e-bikes are able to carry way more goods than a typical electric scooter. On an e-bike, there are plenty of places to install bags to increase its carrying capacity. Much like a road bike, you can install a saddlebag, frame bags, and a handlebar bag. Some electric bikes are even specifically designed to be able to carry cargo, like the Rad Wagon 4, which is able to carry up to 140 kilograms of goods. Most electric bikes are also capable of having a trailer attached allow even more things to be carried. But sometimes, deciding between an e-bike and an e-scooter is not simply up to the consumers. Unfortunately, government policies and regulations often get in the way of your decisions. Electric scooters are very much a new concept to lawmakers and cities. Many municipal governments and provinces have started trial projects that allow electric scooters to be ridden in public, but e-scooters remain illegal to ride in many smaller towns and villages that are not part of these public projects. Electric bikes, on the other hand, are legal pretty much everywhere road bikes are allowed. 
So depending on where you live, you should definitely conduct your own research on the legality of e-scooters and e-bikes in your community if you want to avoid a hefty fine in the future. Well, whether you should buy an e-scooter or an e-bike depends entirely on where you live and what you're going to use it for. If you're looking for something portable and affordable, then go for an electric scooter. But if carrying capacity and range are something important to you, then electric bikes are most definitely a better choice. With the popularization of both products, it is very likely that you will be able to find your next personal vehicle that checks all your boxes. Hey folks, thanks for watching yet another video. As always, this is the Transportation Channel, and I will see you on the next one.